his two maids and his eleven children, and crossed the fold of the Jabok. He took them and sent them across the stream, and likewise everything that he had. And Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day, when the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob. He touched the hollow of his thigh. And Jacob's thigh was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, Let me go, for the day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. Then he said, your name shall no more be called Jacob, but Israel. For you have striven with God and with men, and I have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, Tell me, I pray your name. But he said, Why is it that you ask my name? And there he blessed him. So Jacob called the name of the place Panil, saying, for I have seen God face to face, and yet my life is preserved. The sun rose upon him as he passed Panuel, limping because of his time. Therefore, to this day, the Israelites do not eat the snew of the hip, which is upon the hollow of the thigh. Because he touched the hollow of the Jacob's thigh, on the news new of the heap, the word of the Lord. I to God. In justice I shall behold your face. In justice I shall behold your face. O Lord, hear a cause that is just. Pay heed to my cry. Turn your ear to my prayer. 
nor the seed is on my lips. From you, my, from you, may my justice come forth. Your eyes discern what is upright. Search my heart and visit me by night. Test me by fire and you'll find no wrong in me. In justice I shall give all your face. To you I call, for you will surely hear me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Display your merciful love. By your right hand you deliver from their foes those who put their trust in you. Guard me as the apple of your eyes, hide me in the shadow of your wings. As for me, in justice I shall behold your face. When I awake, I shall be filled with the vision of your presence. Shepherd, says the Lord, I know my own, and my own know me. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, behold, a mute demoniac was brought to Jesus, and when the demon had been cast out, the mute man spoke, and the crowds marveled, saying, Never was anything like this seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, he cast out demons by the, by the prince of demons. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every infirmity. When he saw the crowd, he had compassion for them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. For our salvation, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, when God steps in our events of life, nothing remains unchanged. Everything changes. When we meet with Jesus Christ, we'll never be the same again. When God met with Jacob, he changed to Israel. When Jesus met with a mute man, he spoke because we are chosen to elevate Christ in our lives who changes every moment of human being 
Let us not be embarrassed and dejected, but be the arbiters of change, because in justice I shall behold your face. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
He took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the blood and body of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed by Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph as spouse, with your blessed apostles and, glo and glorious martyrs, St. Francis, St. Clare, St. Padre Pio, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your people in charge here on earth with your servant Francis Apo, John Joy, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you and they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command of comfort, divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done among us in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we are with the blessed hope for the return of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Be your spirit. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold Jesus Christ, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his banquet. Test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and ever cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We both in peace, our mercy, Thank you.